Hi, it's Simon Vincent here from Bicycle Network and today we're going to take the tools to some bike locks and see just what level of security they really offer. We're here at the Alfred Hospital today because Alfred Health are a leading organisation in promoting active transport and they know just what bike security means to bike riders. Are you ready? Let's go. Uh, my name's Kirsten, I work for Alfred Health um, and I look after a lot of our population health and health promotion work. So lots of different topics, um, but active travel, um, particularly cycling, has been one of the topics for us that's been really important uh, and an area of focus for us over the last couple of years. Yeah, absolutely, it's really, really important. Our organisation uh, has invested a lot in creating a facility called the Active Travel Zone right behind me now. Um, that provides 300 secure bike parks. Uh, we've also got a few hundred other open bike parks across our site. So really important for us, I guess, that uh, we maintain security in the best way that we can. Uh, there's lots of actions our organisation takes to do that, but we're also keen to, I guess, remind cyclists about the best type of locks that they can use to always secure their bikes and minimise the risks of theft. Today I'm um, very excited to be here with Bicycle Network in relation to their testing of locks. Um, certainly as a police officer I've seen that um, if someone does use a high security lock it is a lot harder for an offender to actually break it and actually steal the bike. Um, but it's also important where people park their bikes as well. Here at the Alfred Hospital people do have a secure parking facility for their bikes um, which is covered by cameras and um, also that's important that people check ID when people go into those sort of places because people can tailgate in and then obviously they can steal your bike so never actually think that you're in a secure place you need to lock your bike as well and that's why it's so important that you do always use your lock and not only when you're out and about at work but also at home as well we have found that with residential apartment buildings sometimes these will tailgate into a building and they can steal your bike as well so certainly um, consider locking your bike at home at work and certainly when you are about travelling to different places. Um, we also do suggest that you do record the serial number on your bike and certainly consider having it engraved. I do have a brochure here which is on the police website in relation to bicycle security. So certainly photograph your bike, record your serial number and consider getting it engraved as well or putting a um, marker on the bike so it can certainly be tracked if it is stolen because police get a number of bikes that are stolen that we can't track back to an owner. And it's certainly important to make sure that when you do park your bike, try and park it in a place where it's going to be seen by a lot of people. Today we've tested locks, where sometimes we've used actual bolt cutters, we've used angle grinders, and hopefully if someone picked it up as being suspicious, they would report it to police so we could follow up and catch the offender. So the results are in. And what did we learn from the 2016 testing? Well, D-locks are still the best security choice. They offer the highest security, and what you need to look for is thickness in the shackle and a small internal space that gives you better security. Now, they're fixed, so it limits what you can lock to, um, but if you don't need a flexible lock, they're definitely the way to go. Chains are almost the maximum security you can get. The trouble is they weigh a lot, three to four kilos. So it's really the best for leaving at your workplace or at your home and locking up there. Of course, you're gonna need a lock for when you're out and about. Now, folding locks are a very popular choice. They're compact, they're light, and they, they, they offer almost the highest security. Um, the trouble is they are easily um, cut by an angle grinder. So they're not quite the level of security of the best D-locks and the best chains, uh, but a very good choice anyway. And of course, flexible for locking up in lots of different situations. But if medium security is all you need, you could go for a medium or low security option. This small cable would be a, a lot, is a low security option. Uh, these of course are flexible, they're light, and if your situation that you're locking up in only requires medium or low security, well then that's a good choice. Now, we've talked about the locks in the latest issue of Ride On Magazine. 
The table at the end of the article is where all the data is there for you to check out. So there's the security rating, but crucially, we also assess usability, price, and appearance. These things all together make up the overall score. The overall score then puts them in a list, and you can read off and choose the type of lock you need, the level of security you need, and also check what price you'd like to pay and what weight. So those are the four questions that you need to ask yourself. Uh, when you're choosing your lock, um, but there's more to security than just the product that you buy, there's also strategy and so that's why in the article in the magazine there's heaps of strategy, there's tips and there's additional products you can buy to maximise your security. So grab a copy from uh, newsstands around the country or go online write on magazine.com.au and read it there.